what are you made of? That's what you might be asking yourself right now. Because you're dealing with a scenario where you're considering the easy way out of something. But if you look deeply at what you're dealing with, you've come a real long way. You've put so much time, effort, and energy into a particular thing that you're trying to achieve. And to take the easy way out of the scenario at the moment would be foolish, right? You don't want to do something, well, for lack of a better way to say it, half-assed. And you shouldn't, right? If you've dedicated so much of your time, effort, and attention to what you're trying to achieve, you should really dedicate yourself to it for the long haul. So inside yourself, you're thinking, maybe everything that I've done so far in dedication to this has been stupid. Maybe I didn't know what I was doing. Maybe I was making the wrong choices. Right? And whilst you definitely need to spend some time in reflection and consideration, you haven't been acting errantly. You haven't made the wrong decisions. You've been doing the right things. Perhaps the only thing that's going wrong right now is you expecting too much of yourself. Right? You're not superhuman. You're just yourself. And you're an individual who has feelings, who has needs, and yes, at the moment those needs aren't being met, and you feel like your dignity is being impacted by your lack of a capacity to succeed, or in short term, being a failure, when you're not being a failure at all. You've achieved much, and to sacrifice everything that you put into this for a quick release, which is not going to be the release that you think it's going to be anyway, is pure and utter foolishness. So make the appropriate sacrifice, not the stupid one. The appropriate sacrifice is making the sacrifice of feeling like you want to run away from something. Make the sacrifice of dedicating yourself to something for the long haul, rather than sacrificing all of the integrity that you have put into this situation so far. If you're feeling stuck with a difficult situation and could use a little bit of assistance in trying to find the best way of dealing with it, I do offer several different levels of astrological service, all of which are available through the astrological services page of my website. If you're interested in scheduling with me, you can do so through the link above. That's going to do it for this look at the moon's transit through Rohini Nakshatra on the 30th of June, 2019. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now. Mm -hmm.